Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So those of you that have been following me know that I am in the process of completely decluttering my home. I'm selling all of my possessions, all my clothes, everything, my house, my car, um, to go travelling full time. Now I keep getting comments from people about having to pay tax for sales I make on eBay and Vimted for my clothes and possessions and um, there's some conflicting information on this so let's have a look at it and see what it actually means. Hello and welcome back. So I'm in the process of selling all of my belongings so I can go full time travelling. And I'm selling everything, my clothes, my shoes, my furnishings, uh, all my kitchenware. I am using mainly eBay, Facebook Marketplace and Vimted for clothes. And it has become the law since the beginning of January that these marketplaces must report your sales to HMRC. There's been a lot of confusion over if this is going to apply to someone like me, someone who is just selling my own personal belongings. And I found a few videos on uh, YouTube and I've seen a couple of blogs and that there's some confusion. Now I must say I am not a financial expert but I just go to the HMRC website and read it for myself and I am confident that I have nothing to worry about. Let me take you through what I found and hopefully if your situation is the same as mine you'll agree with me but I'm also going to give you the links and show you how I came to this conclusion. So you can also check for yourself. Now, the HMRC says that you must disclose your eBay, Vinted, any marketplace income if you meet the following criteria. First, you are trading assets for profit on one of these platforms. So that is when you are buying and selling something in order to make a profit. You're trading. You're not trading when you're selling your cushion. You know, I didn't go and buy this and then think, oh, I'm going to I'm going to buy this for whatever. Actually, I pay quite a bit for this cushion cover because I got it from Turkey and I love it. Look, it's got the balloons from Cappadocia. So, you know, I you know, I didn't buy this with the intention of selling it for twice as much to make a profit. I bought this for my home and I'm going to sell it <coughs> probably for, what, 50p a pound? A heck of a lot less than I paid for it. But that's how it goes, isn't it? The second criteria is your annual income would have to be over a thousand pounds. Now this is the case for anyone that's self-employed or trading. You can make up to a thousand pounds of profit a year and you don't need to declare it but as soon as you make more than that you do but that's going into another subject that's about self-employment and trading we're not talking about that we're talking about selling our own belongings and whether we have to pay tax or not now i don't believe we do but let's go and have a look together on the hmrc website it's got a couple of very useful pages and we can see for ourselves so we're on the HMRC site now and as you can see it clearly sets out whether we would have to pay tax on selling our personal possessions. And it states if you are just selling some unwanted items that have been laying around your home such as the contents of your loft or garage it is unlikely you will have to pay tax. And it goes on to explain that if you buy goods with the intention of selling them for a profit then you are likely to be trading and then will have to pay tax on your profits. And it goes on further down to give some examples 
of when you may have to pay tax. I'm just reading through Cash in the Attic and Sally's position that absolutely matches what we are doing. We are decluttering and selling our personal possessions. Now, there's a link there so we can go and check our own personal position. We'll come back to that. But just have a read through that. And as you scroll down, it's got lots of other examples of when you may have to consider whether you have to pay tax or not, such as clothing resellers, selling homemade greeting cards, etc., etc. But none of these apply to us. We are the cash in the attic category. So let's go back up here and find that link and click it. So we've now clicked here, and here we can check if we need to tell HMRC about additional income. And it gives you some examples here, such as if you're selling things at a car boot sale or auctions or online, doing casual work. And you just scroll down here and you can check now your own personal position. So let's click that. How did you receive your additional income? Well, it was from sales of goods and services in our case, because we're selling our own personal goods. Did you only sell personal possessions? Yes. Next one. Have you sold a personal possession for £6,000 or more? And you can also see that does not include your car or your home. Well, in my, my position, nothing I am selling is more than £6,000. So I'm going to click no. And here's the answer. I do not need to tell HMRC about this income. So in conclusion, my opinion is that I have nothing to worry about. I will not have to declare what I've made on selling my cushion, my clothes, you know, my personal possessions. Now, I do, you know, think that you should absolutely check for yourself, make sure that you're in the same position. Um, but I'm not trading here, and so I'm not worried about it. And I also always think is, because the information coming from other people is, is confusing, you're getting, like, misinformation coming around. Whenever that happens, just go on the HMRC site for yourself and have a look. And uh, I, I'm quite confident. So if you're doing what I'm doing and you're clearing your attic or you're, you're clearing out your garage or you're selling those clothes that don't fit you anymore, I don't think you need to worry. I hope that's helpful. Um, of course, if you have any comments or you've, you've got any on anything I've said or if you think I've got it wrong, please leave a comment. I'm happy to always be corrected. And for now, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye.